G'day guys, Michael here from fat to fit Welcome to another video. Now, probably the single most common question I get asked on a daily basis from multiple people across the world is about my loose skin. Now, it is such a common, common, common worry to people who are on their weight loss journey, who have quite a bit of weight to lose, or even if they have only a bit of weight to lose, everybody seems to be concerned about loose skin. Now, I know that when I started my weight loss journey, I didn't even have any idea at all about loose skin. I didn't know I was going to have it. I wasn't worried about it. I didn't care about it, to be honest. My main focus was on the weight loss and creating a healthier version of myself. And the loose skin was something that definitely came in a lot later. So why do people worry about loose skin after a weight loss journey so much? It's all to do with pretty much how you look. A lot of people, it is quite superficial. It's just how they look. They worry that if they have the loose skin, their weight loss journey is pretty much going to be meaningless. But there are some people who do have genuine worries out there because if you lose a great amount of weight, loose skin can definitely be a problem um, physically in terms of your health. There can be issues with certain skin conditions, um, pain, that kind of thing. And those are genuine worries. But mo majority of the time, it is to do with how people look. And that doesn't might not affect them much physically in terms of their physical health. But it definitely does take its toll mentally. And I can attest to that from personal experience. Before I came to accept my loose skin um, and accept me for who I am, it definitely did weigh me down mentally on a daily basis and it just chips away at you until you finally want to do something about it and that normally leads to something like the loose skin surgery or something like that. So the whole point of this video is for me to tell people out there who might not yet be on their weight loss journey, who might be just starting or who are well into their weight loss journey, do not, I repeat, do not, do not, do not worry about loose skin. And I say this because what you are doing in terms of your weight loss and making yourself healthier and creating a better version of yourself, that is so much more important than any possibility of you having loose skin at the end of your journey. And I know that's difficult for a lot of people out there to understand. I know it was difficult for me to understand. It takes time to learn to accept that. You can make the change down the track if you want loose skin surgery or something like that. But while you are on your journey, while you are losing weight, do not worry about loose skin. It is definitely definitely not the most important thing. Stopping yourself from getting heart disease, stopping yourself from getting diabetes, stopping yourself from dying at a young age, being able to tie your shoes, all these things are way more important than loose skin. But even me saying that, I know even a small part of you will worry about the loose skin because I know even a small part of me still worries about it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's something you look at in the mirror every day. It's something you can't avoid once you've lost that weight. So what are some of the things that can help with your loose skin? Well, first things first, what you have to understand is the amount of loose skin you will have depends on a variety of factors, but the main ones are how much weight you've got to lose. Obviously, if you've got a lot more weight to lose, the more likely you're going to have loose skin. The amount of time you lose that weight over, so if you lose, say, 100 pounds over six months, you're more likely to have loose skin than someone who lost that 100 pounds over a couple of years. That's just how it is. It takes time for the skin to bounce back to what it was before it was stretched with all the fat, and it takes time to hydrate and just get back to what it used to be. And then probably the third and most important factor is your genetics. So, loose skin lar largely depends on your genetics, which of course you can't change, it's something you can't affect, we, we get what we're given pretty much. So those three factors, amount of weight you have to lose, amount of time you take to lose the weight, and your genetics are probably one, three of the most important factors when it comes to loose skin. Now there are some simple things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that will help your loose skin 
come along and bounce back maybe a tiny bit better. It's not going to make the biggest difference in the world, but these, on a daily today basis, these things will add up in the long run. And they're just these little things you can do to help the process along and keeping your skin healthy in general. And that is things like staying hydrated on a daily basis. People do not understand how important water is on a day-to-day -day basis, not just for your skin, but for every single process in your body. So staying hydrated definitely keeps your skin a lot healthier. You can use things like moisturizers and creams, especially ones with vitamin E and other vitamins and minerals in it, to help keep your skin healthy and to kind of remove a lot of the toxins out of the skin as well. They won't have a huge difference because the skin is such a, one of the biggest barriers in the body to outside factors so a lot of things can't get through it and so it's not going to make the biggest difference but it will help that little bit. And then the probably the most important thing I say you can do for your loose skin is to give it time. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but it, it is such an important thing. It's going to take time. Skin always bounces back. Just think of a pregnant woman after she has her baby. She gains quite a bit of weight during her pregnancy, and then the few months after she's had her baby, the skin bounces back. It's stretched to an extreme and bounces back. Uh, depending on those other factors I was talking about before. Skin takes time to bounce back. You need to give it that time to heal because pretty much being in an overweight or obese state, that has stretched your skin out to the max. It has damaged your skin and you need to give it the time it needs to heal back up properly. Anyway, I've been rambling long enough in this video about loose skin. I do hope it helps quite a few of you guys out there because I get so many questions on it on a daily basis and I will never stop talking about it because I think it is such an important topic to discuss for a lot of people out there on their weight loss journey. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to have a chat to me. I'm always happy to talk to you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.